During this video, we are going to talk about scientific thinking as a goal of university education and present a theory about what scientific thinking is in higher education context. Learning a scientific way of thinking and understanding the nature of knowledge are the most central aims of university education. Students are expected to understand the nature of scientific knowledge and to receive understanding of how it is created. Anyway, it is known that all university students do not learn the scientific way of thinking during their studies. To understand what are the most central aspects of scientific thinking in higher education, we asked university teachers and students to describe what they think scientific thinking is and how it should develop during university education. Based on both theory and data-driven content analysis, five central aspects of scientific thinking were found. Let's take a look at those. Like presented here, the theory of scientific thinking consists of five aspects. Criticality and basics of science, epistemic understanding, research skills, evidence-based reasoning, and contextual understanding. The first aspect, critical thinking and general principles of science, refers to critical thinking skills as a fundamental part of scientific thinking. This aspect includes also basic understanding of science and the most central concepts of scientific activities, such as objectivity, questioning, reliability of information, and the idea of advancing science. The second aspect, epistemic understanding, refers to the development of epistemic beliefs, which mean beliefs about knowledge and knowing. In the beginning of university studies, students often expect that authorities, like teachers and books, have answers to all the questions and assume that right answers exist in general. These beliefs should develop during university studies and students should receive an under understanding that even the scientific knowledge is uncertain and created by humans. The third aspect, research skills, refers to first, understanding the most central concepts of scientific research and research methodology, second, skills to conduct research and participate in scientific knowledge construction, and third, understanding the nature of scientific knowledge. Despite the significant resources that universities put into research methodolo methodology courses, many students do not achieve these goals. What we think is that together with an epistemic understanding, research-based thinking forms the foundation for the whole phenomenon of scientific thinking. The fourth aspect, evidence-based reasoning, refers to scientific reasoning as a basis for knowledge building. This means, for example, the ability to make scientific and logical inferences. The fifth aspect, contextual understanding, means the ability to situate constructed knowledge in certain contexts. For example, students should reach understanding that there is a certain way of thinking that is typical to one's own discipline. Contextual understanding refers to the aspect of discipline-specific thinking, including the idea of expertise or the worldview typical for one's own discipline, but also in connection to wider contexts.